Prince Ali, 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 Babwa. Do you remember this song from Aladdin? And yes, you guessed right, we will be focusing on Will Smith, who portrayed his character perfectly. Stay tuned for some exciting info. Hello, and welcome to Fact Factory. Will Smith has enjoyed a very successful career in Hollywood for the past three decades, and he's taken on everything from music, movies, and business to YouTube. He has a never-ending ambition, and he's multi-talented, so there never seems to be a limit when it comes to the things Will achieves. He's already scooped up multiple Grammys and two Oscar nominations, and he was famously deemed the go-to actor for the successful summer flick. Will Smith is one of the world's most famous actors. He has had a long and successful career as a rapper, actor, and producer. He has risen to be one of the top paid celebrities of all time, and fans hope that he isn't retiring anytime soon. As said by Will Smith, money and success don't change people. They merely amplify what is already there. Let's look at the top 10 facts about Will. Number 10. He came into the industry at the age of 16. Will Smith started his career as a part of the hip-hop duo DJ Jazzy Jeff and the Fresh Prince after he met Jeffrey DJ Jazzy Jeff Towns one night while he was performing at a house party just a couple of streets away from Smith. Call it faith or not, but on the same night, Towns was missing his hype man and Smith decided to fill in. Soon after, they joined forces and together with another friend, they released the first single, Girls Ain't Nothing But Trouble, under the Philadelphia-based Word Up Records. The single became a hit just a month after Smith graduated from high school. Number 9. He became a millionaire at the age of 20. After he hit big with the song Girls Ain't Nothing But Trouble, they attracted the attention of Jive Records and Russell Simmons, who signed them to the label. Their success grew bigger with the release of their first studio album, Rock the House. They received their first Grammy Award for Best Rap Performance for Parents Just Don't Understand, although Summertime was their most successful single. By the time he turned 20, Will had made his first million dollars. Since then, his net worth only grew as he transitioned into acting and taking roles in blockbusters like Men in Black and Bad Boys. Today, he has some money in the bank, approximately $300 million for Men in Black, $320 million, Suicide Squad, Hancock, and The Pursuit of Happiness. According to many sources, his biggest payday was for iRobot, approximately $28 million. Whoa! Number 8. Will is good at maths. Guess what? With an IQ of 115, Will Smith is rumored to have a perfect SAT score, although he will only admit to the numbers being pretty high. In an interview, he declared that if he wasn't an actor, he'd be a computer engineer because his favorite subject at school was math. If I weren't a musician, actor, I'd be a computer engineer. I was always good at math. I probably would have been the guy who invented the remote control if I'd been around then, he said. Will Smith is one of the few celebrities like Johnny Depp, Angelina Jolie, and Brad Pitt to have an IQ above 110, which is ranked from superior intelligence to genius or near genius. Number 7. He can solve Rubik's Cube in a min. The famous actor has a lot of secret talents that not many people know about, and we bet you probably didn't know about this one. Will Smith is one of the few people who can solve a Rubik's Cube in under a minute. Yes, he has mastered the difficult task. Impressive, right? He displayed his talent on live television as well. If you've seen The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air and again, The Pursuit of Happiness, you've noticed him solving a Rubik's Cube. It wasn't any trick involved. Smith really solved it. Number 6. His Catchphrase Maybe you've noticed this, maybe not. But Will Smith tries to use this catchphrase in each one of his movies. Just like Arnold Schwarzenegger's I'll be back, Will Smith's Ah Hell No is an iconic expression. He used it for the first time in Independence Day when he referred to aliens. He has also used the catchphrase in Seven Pounds, All Men in Black Movies, Bad Boys 1 and 2, 
iRobot, or Suicide Squad, just to name a few. One other trademark for him is that often plays a police officer or an agent in his movies. Number 5. He shaved his head for a role. In 2017, he portrayed Deadshot in the supervillain team-up action film Suicide Squad. To be able to make the film, he turned down Independence Day Resurgence. The film had a strong debut that set new box office records, grossing over $745 billion worldwide and becoming the 10th highest grossing film of 2016. He had to rise to the standards of Deadshot and to prepare for the role, Smith chose to shave his head. Plus, he spent some time training with Navy SEALs and Army Rangers. While there, he practiced firing a Glock 9mm handgun and an AR-15 rifle. Also featured in the film were actors Jared Leto, Viola Davis, Cara Delevingne, as well as Margot Robbie. And here is one for anecdote lovers. Will Smith and Margot Robbie starred together in Focus way before Suicide Squad. Number 4. He didn't attend college. Growing up, his parents supported him in his dream to become a famous singer. However, if he failed, he had to go back to college. But he didn't have that problem. Some publications reported that he turned down a scholarship from MIT, but according to Smith himself, he never planned to go to college nor applied to college. I had pretty high SAT scores and they needed black kids, so I probably could have gotten in, but I had no intention of going to college, he emphasized. Number 3. He has a great car collection. For such a big star as Will Smith, nothing is impossible, and for such a car fanatic like him, it's understandable why he has an impressive car collection. His choice model is SUV and owns a few of them. He is the proud owner of a Mercedes GL450 SUV with cruise control and strong acceleration from the V8 engine included. The star also owns a Cadillac Escalade with a stiff, fully boxed frame, high-quality interiors, and a coil spring front suspension for a smoother ride. In his car collection also includes a classic 1965 Ford Mustang convertible in red shiny color. Number 2. He wrote a book for children. The hip-hop artist wrote a children's book about fatherhood titled Just the Two of Us. He took his inspiration from the song of the same name for his debut solo studio album, Big Willie Style. The book is his tribute to his parents and to his little boy. The book is his tribute to his parents and to his little boy, Trey Smith, whom he had with his first wife, Cherie Zappino, in 1992. His vibrant, touching lyrics and Kadir Nelson's paintings capture the true beauty and intensity of the father's love as his child grows up. Number 1. Will Smith as Will If you've ever been curious about why exactly Will Smith's character in The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air has the same name as him in real life, if you've ever watched The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air and managed to avoid hugging the TV whenever Uncle Phil is on screen, maybe you're wondering why Will Smith's character is called, well, uh, Will Smith. For those people, we have rather sad news. The answer involves way fewer tigers than you hoped. Before the show even went to air, both Will Smith and Alfonso Ribeiro were discussing ideas for what Smith's character should be called. After passing several ideas back and forth, Alfonso very matter-of-factly explained to Smith that if the show was a hit, his character would be who the public saw him as for the rest of his life, regardless of what roles he managed to secure afterward. After some consideration, Alfonso recommended that Will request that his character also is called Will. Just so that if he was ever remembered for the character, at least they'd both have the same name. This was all about Will Smith. We listed down 10 facts you didn't know. That's it for today's video. What do you think about this video? Let us know in the comment section, but make sure to like and subscribe to Fact Factory. You shouldn't miss out on any of our extraordinary videos. Also, hit the bell icon to get notified every time we post a video. Thanks for watching and see you soon in another video.